Hi there, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jason from Inphase Energy and I'm gonna be installing one of the new Inphase IQ EV chargers. This is a level two charger that will charge 50 amps and it's a plug-in style. So I wanna show you tips and tricks and how easy it is to install a plug-in style EV charger into an already installed receptacle that was put in by a local electrician. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we wanna do before working on any electrical at all is always make sure that the breaker is off and that it's safe. Electrical is dangerous and we always want to, even when plugging something like this device in, make sure that the power is off first before working on it. Let's turn off the power. Before you can install your IQ EV charger, let's talk about the receptacle. This receptacle right behind me has been installed by the electrician and it was a unit that was sent with the EV charger. Inface sends a commercial grade receptacle with every IQ EV charger that it sends out. We require that this receptacle is upgraded as it has better contact with the, with the plug itself. Some of the receptacles that are installed are not rated for the continuous duty that this one is. So make sure to follow the guidelines and have this receptacle changed. If you cannot do it yourself, if you're a homeowner putting this in, Inface has a list of certified installers that can help you out. Now we're ready, ready to mount the EV charger. There's two different ways we can do this. Myself, I like to plug in the charger and get it in position. And we can either mark it with a pencil like I've done here, or if you have a long drill bit, you can actually hold the charger in place and drill the appropriate 30 degree angle for your pilot bit for your uh, quarter inch lag screw. Myself, I like to pre-drill it and run the, the lag bolt right in with it all connected so that I know that my spacing for my, my receptacle itself is all in place and it should be pretty easy. Now, if you don't also have a long drill bit, you can drill the pilot and then you want to make sure that you hold the drill at about 30 degree angle because that's the distance for clearing the top of the charger to where the hole will go. And then when you put the lag bolt in, you need to make sure that you put the correct spacer so that it sits flush with the, with the charger itself. Let's put this in. Okay, we have that in there. We have the side pretty level. We're now gonna use our drill bit. Okay, now that we have the pilot hole drilled, we can set the spacer in place with our lag bolt ready. We can now run it in. There we go. That was pretty easy for our first screw. Now we can see that the object of the spacer is to allow the bolt or the lag bolt to sit at an angle, but still sit flush at the same time. Let's move on to the bottom one. There we go, charger's mounted. Okay, now that our charger is mounted, it's also time to mount the holster for the charging connector itself. For what we wanna do is we wanna stretch out the cord and we wanna wind it up loosely per the installation manual for the first time. What I like to do next is I like to actually connect the charger into the holster itself so it snaps in using that stud that we already know that was in line for the mounting of the charger itself, find a nice good position for the holster. Now what we'll want to do is use a level so that we at least get it looking good. And I like to take on this step because the connector, the holster and the connector itself are a little bit heavy, is I like to mark out where I'm going to mount the screws that are provided for the holster itself. Now what we can do is we can take the holster back off and we can unhook it and we'll be able to drill those pilot holes a lot easier knowing right where this needs to go. Let's mount this now.
And like that, our EV charger is installed. Next, let's go turn on the power and make sure that all the lights come on correctly. Okay, now that we turned on the power to our EV charger or to our receptacle that's powering our EV charger, we can see that the power light illuminated amber. If there would have been a problem with the power source coming to it, we would have seen the power fault light illuminate red. This would have meant that something needed to be serviced or checked with the power coming from the receptacle itself, or if it was a hardwired version, the wires at the panel. But this one is amber and it's all good to go. Now we can commission the charger using the app.